Hey guys, all right, I'm gonna do a video of a snap-on ratcheting screwdriver kit. First of all, it's my brother's. He got it the other day. He asked me if I want to check it out. I said, sure, why not? Snap-on tool, right? All right, so first of all, the price, I believe it's north of $400 for this kit. So it's one of those things, guys. Snap-on, yeah, it is expensive, but you kind of get what you pay for it too. But all right, with that, let's open it up, check it out. It comes in a nice, uh, sturdy, uh, blow, blow molded case here. A little, little see through in there right there, too. So, all right. Okay, so you got a stubby and you got a regular length ratcheting screwdrivers. You got um, a short um, bit adapter, a regular length one, and a long one. And then you also have uh, a um, an extension here where you can use it for quarter inch drive sockets. Okay, let's start with uh, bits first. As you can see, they come in their own little case here, which is very nice. Um, because I've seen some things where they just put put the bits in here with everything else and once you start throwing the case around a little bit, they tend to pop out of there. So it's nice to have them separated like this. By the way, everything in this kit is made in USA. All right, here's the, here's the bits right here. So you got your flat, your Phillips, square, and hex head. Only in standard size though, and then Torx bits right there. All right, and then you got a bit holder that you can use with a quarter inch drive ratchet, and a bit holder that you can use with your impact driver. All right, now I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys the the magnet pull. Feels about right. It's got enough pull to where obviously it won't come flying out or anything like that, but at the same time, it's not a struggle to, to pull it back out of there. I know there's some there's some tools out there that uh, when you go to disengage them like that, it's just a, it's just a struggle. And with greasy hands, whenever you're working on the job, yeah. But all right, and. I don't think I mentioned this yet. So you have a a um, a extension to use with the quarter inch drive sockets and your impact driver. So all right, and you got some other uh, empty space spots here for as they as as they put in their extra bits. So if you uh, know you use a certain bit more than others then I would, I would just buy extra of those and just put them in there so all right okay now on to the ratcheting screwdrivers okay first of all this just pops out you can see pops back in it has some nice knurling one thing I've noticed about snap-on knurling is it's not as aggressive as what SK does, but it's still there and it's still of high quality. So there we go. All right, now let's take a look at this handle. So you got a nice spot for your thumb and for your fingers around the, on the back side. Uh, they also have some little. Um, it looks like some divots or, so, or something in there to help grip. So, and then here's the, you can use it as a regular screwdriver where it's locked in. And then, what, turn to the right, that'd be tightening. Left, loosening. Sounds really good too. There's a really good solid mechanical sound to it. 
All right, now let's take a look at the larger one here. Now this one, man, this this thing just fits the hand. Period. I mean, um, I've I've picked it up a a couple times already, and every time I do, I'm like, man, this just feels right. I mean, they definitely put some thought and time into uh, the design of this handle here, but I like it. And I don't think I mentioned on the other one, but it's made out of a like a really firm uh, rubber texture. So it also has those uh, dents or whatever you want to call them in there to help grip. So as that, as with that shorter one and this longer one, you got a nice place for your thumb, but then you come around back and you, and you find your fingers landing on this other flat spot back here. And boy, it just, it, it just works guys, it really does. So, same thing. But let's hear that action when it switches too. Okay. And then a little storage area in here. Now, what I like about this too is that, okay, so it's got a, a rubber o ring to help seal it. And instead of just something that you just pull straight off, you got that going on and those little tabs there that you put in, give it a twist, locks in place, stays sealed. So, good stuff right there. And more knurling. I, I, I would have actually preferred if it was a little bit more aggressive, um, but I will definitely take some knurling over no knurling. So, all right, let's check out these other pieces here. You know, one thing I uh, I noticed when I picked this up, it just it just feels like a solid, well-made piece, uh, right? Where. I know some 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 extensions out there, and then some some tooling and accessories, and you pick them up, they just feel hollow and light and cheap. But it, this thing feels just like a solid piece of steel that is very nicely machined. And where the bit goes in, all right. And I'll check this one out too. Now it looks like the knurling on this one is a little bit more aggressive than say on this one. Yeah, they were definitely done uh, by a different machine or by different people. I would guess by a different machine. But I would I would prefer all the knurling to be more like this. But hey, oh well. All right, so there it is. This snap-on ratcheting screwdriver kit. Um, like I said before, north of $400. Pretty expensive, but the way I see it, um, if you're gonna get one that's made in the USA, there aren't too many options out there these days. And it's good to see that snap-on makes it and uh and obviously makes it in the usa but um it is a top quality tool as well they definitely don't cut corners when it comes to to their tooling so all right with that let me know what, what you guys think what you have out there uh do you have these in your toolbox or do you have some other brand name out there but either way let me know what you guys think in the comments below like my video, subscribe to my channel, I'll catch you guys later.